Hey guys, it's Friday, so it is time for my coming out story. Are you guys excited? Because I'm excited. I'm really excited that I'm making this video because it's so personal to me and I'm glad that I could share this with you guys. So I always knew that I liked boys for as long as I can remember. I can't think of a time where I didn't like boys. However, I always thought in the back of my head and hoped that I was bisexual. Throughout my whole childhood, I always struggled with this problem in my head, like, cause from hearing things, maybe just like in school or anywhere I went or on TV, I had this warped perception of what being gay was. I did not know that being gay wasn't wrong. I did not know that you could live a life being completely open to gay and not have problems. I just had this mindset that if I ever was 100% gay, I would just be in so much danger and have so much hatred against me. So basically, for my whole elementary school life, you know, when you're in elementary school, you really don't think about stuff like that, even though I did know that I liked boys. But it really only started becoming a big internal struggle once I hit middle school. I started to realize that this wasn't something that was just gonna go away. I'd have to face it at some point. As I was realizing this, I encountered my first form of bullying in seventh grade. The thing that's really different about my case though is that I wasn't bullied for being gay. I was bullied for not coming out. I'm glad I could share this with you guys because unless you're gay or bisexual or any member of like the LGBT community, you really never 100% understand how hard it is to come to terms with your sexuality and how hard it is to tell people. And you can never judge someone for being in the closet or not being upfront about it because you don't know what they're going through. In my case, you know, sixth grade was amazing. Sixth grade was where I made a huge amount of friends that I'm basically my whole friend group to this day. And they, we all loved each other and we were having a great time and I was happy with myself. But when it came to 7th grade, that's when I started getting bullied by these two girls. It wasn't necessarily the both of them entirely, it was mainly one, and the other one was probably really insecure with herself, so she followed along with the other one just to make herself feel better about herself. I don't really know why they did it, but yeah. There were always rumors about me being gay, and I knew everyone thought I was, but I just wasn't ready at that time. I was still really young and I wasn't ready to tell people. I didn't understand it completely myself. But these girls just did not like the fact that I was hiding something. They would call me gay all the time. They would say, oh, why don't you just come out of the closet? They would just non-stop every single day just harass me about it. 7th grade was a really, really rough year for me because I may have not have shown it to my friends or in school, but when I got home, I would sleep all the time. I would just... I was very depressed. 8th grade was when it started changing. All the bullying was over, and I just focused on having a good time with my friends, and I felt more comfortable with myself. Then when I went into high school, high school was honestly so scary going into it because I knew that I was not 100% straight and I knew that I basically really didn't have anyone that I felt I could talk to about my feelings because I didn't want it to come out. For the first half of ninth grade, I really still thought that I was bisexual. And the thing is that even though in the back of my head something was telling me, no, Noah, you're 100% gay, just deal with it already, I didn't want to come to terms with it because I was scared. Finally, at the end of ninth grade, I just sat down and I realized that I was 100% gay. And to be honest, it really upset me. I know that 
you're supposed to be happy about it, but I was scared. I knew that, wow, I my life was going to change. And in my head, not knowing any better, I just thought it would be for the worst. I was ashamed of it. I really was. And I don't, I can't really describe why. I knew I was different my whole life, but that moment I had to finally come to terms with it. And it was really, really hard. So basically I went through my first half of high school just still keeping it a secret. It was only up until the summer of... I guess you would say 11th grade, the summer before I started 11th grade, where I finally did come out. I came out to my friends at camp, shout out to you Stan, it's a great camp, you should go to it if you live on Long Island. It was just getting to the point where I was very flamboyant, I was very like I am now, which is the real me and there's nothing wrong with that. but. It just got to the point where I was showing what my true personality was and it was really hard to keep my sexuality a secret. This may surprise some of you, but I actually came out to my parents before I came out to the world and to all my friends. After I came out to my camp friends, since they, at the time, during the summer, they were my immediate friends who I saw every day and I told them first, I then told my parents. My mom works for a beauty company, she works for Garnier, so I always knew in the back of my head that she wouldn't have a problem with it, and like I thought, she did not have a problem with it, and it brought us even closer when I told her. My dad, on the other hand, he wasn't... He wasn't rude about it, and he wasn't mean about it, but he did have a harder time dealing with it. I was very, very lucky though, because I know of a lot of stories where parents are not accepting at all and even go to extremes of like kicking their kids out of their house for it, which I, I think I, I could go on for hours ranting about how I think that is so terrible and unacceptable. But I was very lucky that I wasn't in that case. I had, I have two very supportive parents and they love me very much and me being gay didn't affect their view of me at all. My dad was just honestly, like I didn't know about being gay when I was in middle school or elementary school. It was only up until high school where I really understood what being gay was and what that meant. My dad knew and probably still doesn't know much about it. He just had the stereotypes to go on and he was very, very scared for me. However, now he's finally, you know, really came to terms with it and he realizes that it's not something to be ashamed of and it's not something that's gonna cause me problems in my life that are really, really bad. I came out to my camp friends and my parents at the end of the summer and I finally came out to pretty much everyone in the winter break of that year. And the way I did it was, I actually made a Facebook status just saying that I was gay. I thought it'd be the easiest way just to get it out to everyone. Because just like it was getting to the point where it was hard to keep it a secret at camp, it was, it was ridiculously obvious during that year at school. It was just getting to the point where everyone knew it, everyone was thinking it, I'm sure people were talking about it, and I just wanted to make it clear that I was gay. It was scary at first. You know, I have so many supportive friends, and I have so many amazing friends, and I'm so thankful for that. Despite that, I still was a little scared of what it would be like after, you know, I walked through that door or went out of the closet and just told everyone. Thankfully, I had no problems. I was not bullied. I was only brought closer to people and I am very lucky. After coming out, I realized that I was so stupid for not coming out sooner. I just, for years and years and years, just kept it bottled so deep inside and it just, it hurt me so much. I should have realized sooner that it's not something to be ashamed about and if your friends don't accept you for it or your family doesn't accept you for it, then screw them. You should be happy with who you are and you shouldn't be afraid to tell people about your sexuality and you should be proud of yourself. I couldn't have been happier with my decision to come out. It, my life changed even though I thought it would be for the worst. 
it changed for the better. I could finally be myself 100%, 100% of the time. I really feel that it brought me and my friends and my family so much closer because, you know, it was hard. I was hiding a piece of me from them and that hinders people from getting to know you 100%. And once I said it, I felt like I could be so much more comfortable and I feel that also people were a lot more comfortable around me because I was more confident. And after I came out, I've, my confidence has grown so much. However, after hearing my story, I just want to let people know that everybody who is in the closet does not have the same story and they're going through so many different things and just please remember never to judge someone. Everybody has to do what they have to do. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad that I got to share this with you all and I hope that you enjoyed my story and I hope that I maybe helped some of you with my story. And thank you all so much for your support. Your support means so much to me. If you liked the video, please subscribe and stay tuned next week for my next vlog.